Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Zilla Jackson back at it again. You feel me? Before we start off, let me just go ahead and say, <laughs> to Zilla again, uh, appreciate you coming in. Thank you for the follow, the subscribe, and the info. Appreciate you so much. But let's get right into the video because it's gonna be pretty interesting. We got Sunny Two V or Sunny, whatever his name is. Uh. Link down in the description, my socials, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be watching a video about how, like, Jackie Jackie Chan's son, Jackie Chan's son, yeah. Jackie Chan's only son hasn't had the easiest life. Between an unsuccessful film career and the time he spent in prison, JC Chan has been unable to live up to the high standards set by his father, and it all began with JC's luxury upbringing after his birth in 1982. At this point in time, Jackie Chan was permanently busy with acting and would therefore spend only two weeks per year with his son, which was, quote, contained in the household as they were too famous to go outside. Uh, this sounds like a... Okay, I know a lot of people are not keeping up with the fucking WWE bullshit. I'm not. I'm not keeping up with it either. But it sounds a lot like like the fucking Rey Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, stupid shit that they're doing right now. Oh, they're too famous to go outside, so they are sheltered inside the house and everything. Right? They're they're like fucking yeah. Yeah, so they, they the son ends up re resenting the father and stuff like that, bro. Like that's the same type of stuff that going on in WWE, bro. But. Let's his father's busy schedule meant that JC was raised almost entirely by his mother, who began to spoil him with luxuries afforded by Jackie Chan's fame and fortune. Jackie wrote in his memoir, when he was little, JC never had to worry about having enough food, how to pay his school fees, or if he needed to be driven anywhere. I would arrange it all. I regretted that later. No one should have such a good life from their birth. Jackie Chan clearly believed this as his upbringing was almost the opposite. Brought up in dirt poor conditions by refugee parents who couldn't even afford afford to pay for his birth, Jackie Chan was forced to develop discipline as well as an appreciation for scarcity. In addition to this, Jackie Chan's youth consisted of drama training all day long, from 5am to 11pm with breaks for lunch and dinner. When he misbehaved, he was beaten with canes. When he fell ill, he was told to suck it up, which Jackie Chan has since highlighted as beneficial in comparison to his son's upbringing. I really think... Wow, okay. Hold on me. I think this is a this is a lean back type of thing, honestly. I mean, yeah, I'm holding my mic and all that, but like this is type of a, like a sit back and I'm like, huh, oh, contemplate, because like I think there should be like a mix. It should be like a like a flip flop. They should see the struggles and they should see the. The easy life too at the same time so they can see like the balance between it be a balance but uh, i'm not a parent so thank you my teacher that torture me becoming really we never drop one rice on the table whenever i go back my home i see my son's shoes one like this one like this <laughs> one socks not the socks no discipline. JC's cushy childhood led Jackie Chan to write in his book, When he was a teenager, I definitely didn't think JC was pushing himself hard enough. I'd work all day, go jogging at night, then get back and say that he'd gone to bed, even though it was only nine something. I'd grumble, he's asleep already. I'd storm out in a bad mood and go jogging again, thinking when I was his age, I wished he could follow me around all day to see how much I did. Sometimes I'll have eight meetings in a row, right up until midnight, then I'll go home, do some exercise and read scripts. JC's clear lack of drive and ambition in comparison to his father, led JC to drop out of college at the end of his first year, stating, I wanted to be a musician. All you can see in Virginia is sheep, although other sources state that he was expelled from the school as a result of excessive drinking, unclean living conditions, and two semesters worth of unwarranted absences. JC's desire to become a musician was against the will of Jackie, who had not wished to see their son in show business. He wanted JC to be a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor, as JC's mother had, quote, Yeah, 
I don't know if this is... I might be playing into the stereotype with this one, bro. But I do apologize in advance. You can quote me on this. I do apologize in advance, right? Isn't that what the majority of the Asian household wants you to be? Like a lawyer, a doctor. They want you to shoot for high degree type scholar jobs, right? Isn't that what they want? I may be playing into stereotypes. Because you can say the same thing for black people. Not the same thing, but like, you know, you could say that we grow up to sell drugs and stuff like that. But like, you know, I may be playing into a stereotype with that one, but I do apologize. But again, I apologize in advance. Um, but that that's crazy, bro. I mean, I know I don't know what to do with my life right now. But even when I was even even when I was a little kid, I had a drive to actually get somewhere, but I had a drive to get somewhere. Do something. That's crazy. I thought it was a bit, I thought it would have been cool to be an engineer, bro. Or a graphics designer. What you gotta do to be a graphics designer, bro? Literally you go to school. I think you fucking. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not a graphics designer. Maybe it's a. Uh, so what's the what's the job called? When they when they just make the blueprints of the fucking of a structure. Whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it's called, we'll do that later. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. But like, bro, that's crazy already lost her husband to this profession. Despite the wishes of his parents, JC moved from Los Angeles to Hong Kong in 2004, where he planned on cultivating his own successful story in music, stating, it is my hope to become famous based on my own abilities rather than rely on my image. JC was so confident in moving to China that he gave up his American nationality in exchange for Chinese nationality. However, it's possible that this choice came into question after he'd released his first album. Described in reviews as being a horrid absolute waste of money, the album simply titled JC was a commercial failure. The reason for this, as described by JC himself, was because Hong Kong is different from other places. You need to do music and movies, leading JC to appear in his first film titled The Twins Effect 2, which received an IMDb rating of less than 5 out of 10 stars. And while it'd be ridiculous <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh, bro. But like, that's tough. That's that's tough, bro. That's tough, there, bro. to expect an Avengers-level performance from JC's first on-screen appearance. The movies which followed weren't that much better. He'd appear alongside his father for Jackie Chan's hundredth movie titled 1911 Revolution. Yet the collaboration resulted in Jackie Chan's least financially successful and least positively received picture to date, grossing only $127,000 before receiving a score of 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. One year later, JC would play. I ain't gonna lie, after Rush Hour 3, I thought Jackie Chan was just done with making movies and stuff like that, bro. I thought he had, like, retired and he was just, like, living a good life after that, bro. I, I, who knew? Who fucking knew? I mean, who knew he had a son besides you, you fanboys and fangirls? Or whatever you want to be called. Because we don't discriminate right here. Okay. <laughs> um, like, bro. What? What? Play the main character in a movie called Double Trouble, which also entered media headlines after grossing an even more pitiful $9,000 during its first two weeks, making it one of the biggest box office flops in history. To add insult to injury, JC would then play the main role in a movie called Whoever, which despite a government mandate forcing it to be played in half of the country's cinemas, failed to crack the Chinese top 10 and has received only 15... I'm weak, bro. At that point, bro, why don't you just quit? Oh, you can't go back home. That's right. So you're by yourself. I mean, 
I mean, like, okay, so me in the future, I'm thinking about moving to Japan, right? You know, either I'm doing this or I'm in the esports scene or I find a good job that's paying me well in Japan. Go to Japan, move there, get a citizenship over there. But I'm not getting a straight citizenship where I'm giving up my American citizenship. No, that is not, not what to do. Get a dual citizenship. It may take you a while, but at least you, yeah, at least you're, it's both. You can go back home to America and you can live in Japan. I mean, I mean, like, that's a win win to me. That's a win win to me. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys. Let me stretch real quick. Ratings on IMDb since its release in 2012. The only positive news for JC seemed to have been coming from his music career, as his second studio album would top Taiwanese charts in 2010. Although it seems the album hasn't achieved much long term success, as there's not even a single online review for the music, and it took about 30 minutes of digging just to find the track list. The performance of the album That's was tough. unimportant anyway, because on the 14th of August 2014, JC would find himself in a profound new media scandal, making every prior controversy seem insignificant. Police would upload footage of JC Chan being arrested at his parents' $10 million luxury Beijing apartment, during which he'd admit to having approximately 100 Bro. grams of weed in his cupboard. This was extra Bro. bad for the Chan family's reputation, as Jackie Chan had been China's official anti-drug ambassador since 2009. For this reason, Jackie Chan would take to social media to- That motherfucker got disowned. He got disowned. Fast, bro. <laughs> Fucking dickhead, bro. <laughs> oh my god, he got disowned, bro. He's a fucking dumbass. He's a dumbass, bro apologize writing for my son jc to get into such trouble i'm very angry and astonished as a public figure i'm ashamed as a father i'm heartbroken i can't begin to describe his mother's pain i failed to be a good father and i deserve the blame i will take the responsibility and apologize to the public on behalf of jc in the process jackie practically disowned his son stating that he hadn't and didn't plan on using any of his connections to lessen jc's sentence i have not visited him even till now i did not even use any connections to call anyone if JC only went in jail for one week or 10 days, how would the public look at us? We are public figures and all the more we have to abide by the laws, which was accompanied by Jackie Chan somewhat hilariously telling JC's lawyer to slap him twice for me. While Jackie Chan wanted absolutely nothing to do with JC, the Chinese government took the opposite approach, making a public anti-drug example out of JC by televising the trial, which would happen approximately four months after his arrest. JC was sentenced to six months in prison and was ordered to pay a $320 fine for possession as well as the crime of sheltering others to take drugs. JC took this sentence humbly stating, I have broken the law and should be punished. When I return to society, I will not repeat this because I have let my family and friends down yet again, although this wasn't enough to satisfy his parents who didn't even attend. Bro. Bro, that's so sad. That's so sad. I feel bad for this dude. I feel bad, but I don't feel bad at the same time, bro. I mean, he kind of brought it upon himself. He kind of brought it upon himself. That's kind of his fault. But, like, dude. Dude, you got to be better than that. You got to be better than that, bro. Like, there's there's no way. You, you honestly brought shame upon your family for no reason at that point. You had it all. You had it all. And you lost it within the palm of your hands, bro. And the trial. Whilst in prison, JC would send letters to his mother in which he explained that he experimented with drugs because of the bad crowd he was mixing with and started relying on drugs to soothe himself whenever he felt upset. JC also wrote about the struggles he faced growing up in a famous family and revealed that the expectations of fame placed a lot of pressure on him. He then expressed his un- They didn't want you to be famous in the first place, though. That's, that's saying I'm pissed up. That fucking pisses me off right now. That's pissing me off right now, bro. They didn't want him to be famous in the first place. They didn't want him to go down that path, right? 
but you feel pressured that wasn't really going to be pressure if you would have not even if you would have done the same thing as they would like they wanted you to do even if you were just even if you were like a let's say maybe you don't you don't become an engineer maybe you become an athlete or you become uh you go and you do fucking coaching or you go and do welding or you go and do all this other stuff bet you that pressure is zero bet you that pressure comes to lower than what it would have been if you were think if you would have like stayed out of show business because they didn't want you to show business in the first place but that's that's your fault and then you gave up your citizenship in america for your chinese citizenship when you could have got a deal citizenship i'm pretty sure you was born in america too so like that's kind of on you like that's tough happiness with jackie for not showing him enough concern however his father wasn't rushing to offer any kind of sympathy jackie chan would state in an interview i hope to be an anti-drug ambassador for life i even hope that after jc is out he can be an anti-drug ambassador too telling everyone to stay away from drugs which was followed by jackie stating publicly that he supports the death penalty for certain serious offenses additionally jackie chan would announce that he would donate the entirety of his reported 350 million dollar net worth to charity and not pass it on to his son JC, adding, if he is capable, he can make his own money. If he is not, then he will just be wasting my money. Oh yeah, it's kind of over for JC, bro. My glasses got, got messed up. Oh, my glasses or something. Nah, bro, you lost your inheritance too, bro? <laughs> You got disowned times too, bro. Because like usually, usually they'll. I'm not even gonna get into it, bro. Yeah. The problem is JC's earning capacity has been stifled pretty severely as a result of the public sentencing. For example, in the three years prior to his arrest, JC acted in ten different movies. However, since his imprisonment almost ten years ago, he's appeared in only three films, one of which he wasn't even credited for as a result of the scandal. JC also lost endorsements from Adidas, Nivea, Yishion, Johnson and Johnson contact lenses, Stride Gum K. I don't know why. That fucking pissed me off. <laughs> Maybe it's just the American in me. But how how do you how do y'all say Adidas? How do y'all say Adidas, bro? Because like Adidas, I don't know. I don't know, cause there's there's a difference. Cause people say Adidas. Are better than Nikes, and then there's other people that says Nikes are better than Adidas, and then there's people that say fuck it, Under Armour. <laughs> What's your favorite shoes? Like, that's tough. You lose all Result your of the scandal. Your JC also, also lost nothing. endorsements from Adidas, Nivea, Yishion, Johnson and Johnson contact lenses, Stride Gum, KFC, and Chevrolet. With this rock bottom causing him to return to America, even though he was no longer a citizen there. The father and son still share a residence Bro. in Hong Kong, though they don't spend much time together. As an actor, a businessman, and his city's unofficial goodwill ambassador at large, Jackie Chan has a busy schedule. The two seem to have reconciled since JC moved back to the USA. Yet JC continues to differ himself stating i don't want to always follow my dad's footsteps i want to be different adding that he's tired of being a person in his father's shadow since moving back to the u.s jc has made efforts to turn his life around directing his okay. first film in 2021 titled good night beijing and according to imdb he has another two movies on the way hey, it's not really a tragic tale, any man. question it's not really a tragic tale not really a tragic tale. It was more like a more like a where are they now type of thing. Not really a tragic tale, but yeah. Hope that dude has a good luck to him. I guess <laughs> good luck to him and uh, good luck to you guys. Catch you guys later. Me and boys later. <laughs>